our dog's tags would fall right off unless he or she had them on a collar. We're going to take again our same round small brush, should have cleaned it off at this point, and we've applied some burnt umber with media. I'm going to take this, first I'm going to outline the collar. So we have a decent idea of kind of where it's running. Also, this outer area is the least likely to have any dog hair kind of fluffing up onto it. So I can be a little more defined here. What I'm painting in here is likely not to get covered up by dog hair. And then I'm simply going to start expanding in very, very short. I'm basically kind of taking the brush and laying it on the canvas. It's, I mean, barely a brush stroke at all, more like a brush laying. Continue this effect up and down the collar, coming back in with some small horizontal lines because we don't want any of these white speckles. If you start seeing yourself have a lot of white speckles, get some more media. Now it must be explained that a lot of this paint is wet and depending on your skill level, time, or desire, this would be an excellent stopping point if you wanted to let the painting dry for say two to four days. It's about the typical time for oil paints which is what I'm using today. You don't have to, but I want to let you know that before we proceed on to the more of the fur, it is certainly an option for you.